I mean, we have a, 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 a negative list that keep uh, shrinking. Uh, and I think uh, the this uh, <clears throat> uh, policy uh, is against the backdrop of, you know, admittedly, China's uh, attractiveness for foreign direct investment uh, is starting to uh, get a challenge, uh, you know, because of economic, fundamental economics reasons and our uh, salary and wage co wage costs have been steadily rising, for example, um, and, and and that's a you know part of economic uh, phenomenon. Uh, so so in order to uh, fight against the the trends, uh, you know, we'll be gradually introducing these measures to further encourage foreign direct investment. Um, I, I do want to point to the fact that, um, you know, it's not something uh, that just is a piece of paper. I mean, it's it's, it's actually taken effect. And I, I can't think of a better example uh, than that uh, Tesla battery factory announcement um, that was just made, uh, I think, two months ago. This is a big statement from a, you know, probably the most influential uh, leader in the business community in the West, you know, Elon Musk decided to uh, make such a big investment in you know, in Shanghai, in particular, to make batteries for not just for its cars, but also for for the energy sector, um, for for electric grids, for example. Uh, so I think this is a big statement. Uh, it's a it's a big vote of confidence, uh, and also uh, I think it shows the effect of uh, this latest measure of eliminating all. Uh, restrictions in the manufacturing sector uh, for foreign direct investment in China.